If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. I want you to go with me to the scriptures. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. I'm going to read the word of the Lord. Exodus 3.13 The word of the Lord is read in this manner. Then Moses asked God if I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they asked me, what is his name? What should I tell them? And God replied to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you shall say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Lift up one hand, we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will move by your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the angels who are already here. We thank you for the covering that's already here. We declare that everything is in its place right now in the name of Jesus. We establish covering over this place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to speak to you for a couple of minutes under the title The Power of the Name of Jesus. I want to tell you that the Bible warns us about the days that we're living in. The Bible says that we are living in difficult days. The Bible declares that we're living in the last days. And in the last days, difficult times will come. And the Bible explains to us that those difficult times will come because the enemy of our souls knows that his time is short. The reason why the difficult times will increase is because our redemption draws near. And the enemy knows that as our redemption draws near, he's going to try to do anything to stop us. The Bible talks 
about a man named Moses. That God had chosen to do a particular assignment. The assignment of Moses was in a difficult time. The assignment of Moses was to go before Pharaoh. He was to go before Pharaoh to let the children of Israel go free. Now you gotta understand that to let the children of Israel go free was an impossible assignment. To let the children of Israel go free was to go before the biggest army in the world without any army by himself. And Moses said to God, how can I go in my own power to free the people of Israel? And the Lord said something to Moses that he's saying to you today. He said to Moses, I will be with you. Let's give 
given a name to Moses. The reason why he needed the name was because there was an impossible task ahead of him.
name of Jesus. I said if you use the name of Jesus. Things got to happen. The Bible says. Whatever you ask in my name. Whatever you ask in my name. I will do it so my father can be glorified. I don't know what you need. Money might not be able to resolve it for you. Oh! 
powerless. Maybe you feel weak. Yo, yep. 